I'm undocumented and I'm afraid, queer and unashamed. My name is Luis Malonado and this is my immigrant story. I was born in Ciudad de Tamaulipas, Mexico. And uh, when I was a kid, my family decided to migrate over to the United States. At the end of my second year of college and going into my third year of college, I started getting more involved with the DREAM movement. Myself and other students then uh, founded Minority First Council. We started educating more than anything our university and our community on what the DREAM Act movement was and also immigration. The first time that I came out as an undocumented person, um, it was a very nerve-wracking moment prior and during uh, me coming out as an undocumented person. But after I came out um, as an undocumented person, it was a very relief and empowering uh, moment that I felt. And being part of the LGBT community also affects my immigration uh, status because um, prior to the repeal of DOMA, um, same-sex couples, wherever they allowed, weren't allowed to petition for their partners for immigration status. So. Um, I still feel that that's another battle uh, of my identity, of my immigrant story. A few years ago, uh, one of my siblings was uh, deported um, back to Mexico. And my sibling has a U.S. born uh, child. He only gets to see his mom during summer vacations. The separation of families that are constantly happening on a day-to-day -day basis is affecting me. It affects me because my nephew, his parent, is not with him and I see the pain that he has and how much that hurts him and not only him but also uh, his mother. Um, I also explain to him the situation with his mom and you know what I'm doing, the kind of work that I'm doing and how I advocate and how much I'm fighting for them to reunite. What some people might take for granted perhaps traveling perhaps driving, it's, are actually the dreams of other people, especially the dreams of people in my community. I live by Gandhi's quote, be the change that you want to see in the world. So, to me that means take action. I feel that there will always be a cause that I will feel attached to. There will always be an injustice that I will need to fight for. Because if we don't speak out against these issues, then who will be our voice?